Hi, my name is Matt Sherrick, and I'm one of the percussionists with the Chameleon Arts Ensemble of Boston. Today, I'm really excited to share with you three solo pieces. Um, even though we can't be together in person, I'm going to do my best to send great vibes across the internet at all of you. Uh, I want to thank Deb Bolden, our intrepid artistic director, for putting together this whole Chameleon at Home project. It's, I can't tell you how wonderful it is to feel this connection, even though it's not like our normal connections, but it's just so important uh, for, for us as artists to get to share our work with you. So normally, you know, when you've seen me play with Chameleon over the last several years, you, you know, I normally am multitasking pretty hardcore, right? I'm surrounded by lots of instruments, I'm using my feet, and I'm cueing, and playing different things at once, and today I want to offer you something different. Um, I'm going to focus in on a singular voice, and that voice is the marimba, an instrument that's very important and dear to me because it's the first percussion instrument that I really connected with. When I was young, I was originally a piano player, and I didn't start playing percussion seriously until I got to college. And the marimba was the instrument that I gravitated to the most. So today, I'm going to share with you three solo pieces that I've never actually performed in public before. And the first one is an adaptation I've made of Eric Satie's Renoncien No. 2. It's, the Renoncien is part of a larger collection of, of piano pieces. Uh, the title itself is a nonsense word, and typical of Satie, you know, it's just these flowing events occurring in time. There's no real sense of forward or backwards. And when you hear these pieces played on the piano, it's just sustained pedal all over the place. There's just notes ringing everywhere quietly. And, you know, the marimba can't do that. So why would I... why would I try? Well, I actually think that there's this crystalline, fragile beauty to playing sustained music on the marimba. I think there's this vulnerability that comes through that actually doesn't come through even on the piano. And, you know, given everything that's going on right now, I just feel very drawn to this piece. The second work I'm going to play is something that I actually hadn't heard of until very recently, even though it was written in 1988. It's a solo called Argoru 6 by Alvin Singleton. And Alvin Singleton is this very prolific American composer. He was the composer in residence with the Atlanta Symphony in the 80s. He's written lots of amazing pieces for solo instrument, large orchestra, you name it. And a hallmark of his writing is an economy of material and a fearlessness when it comes to large musical gaps. And that's something that I'm very attracted to as an artist. So with the Guru 6, it's a very joyful piece, but for you as a listener, it's kind of like watching someone jam out on their own, but they're wearing headphones listening to some crazy rock piece that they love. And so there's like all this intense music going on in their heads, but you're only hearing the, the like occasional jabs, you know? Um, so even though this piece is full of silence, that silence is not empty. There's this kinetic energy that just pulses through. And finally, I'm going to present for you a marimba solo called Remember Marimba by Erilyn Wallen. Erilyn Wallen is a very well-respected and renowned British composer. She is a cross-genre artist, she's a singer-songwriter, she was a dancer, she works on very large projects, and we, I was very lucky to be part of a commissioning consortium about 10 years ago uh, that commissioned Erilyn and Louis Andreessen, Gunther Schuller, and even Paul Simon of Simon and Garfunkel to write a set of marimba solos. And from that set, Erilyn's piece really stands out. So marimba, remember marimba 
is a, an homage to the marimba's past while also looking into its future. And I think it does a really great job of combining the kind of rhythmic language you're used to thinking about when you think of um, a marimba as a folk instrument with some jazzier harmonies, some really pointy contemporary moments. Um, I think it's just a beautiful, joyous piece. So, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Thank you. 